Hello everybody and welcome again for clip 4 of tutorial 3. Uh, so far we have uh, completed the spotted drill and in this clip I'm going to show you how to drill the four holes through all. Alright, so since we are going to go through this same uh, coordinates of the center points of the four holes uh, maybe it would be probably a good idea that we copy the spot drill operation and then uh, all we need to do is to change the tool uh, in this case we need a drill of quarter inch diameter uh, we change the can cycle to packet drill can cycle and we change also the depth because the hole should go through all okay so let's get started from the toolpath manager, I can right click, we press and hold the right mouse button and then move it below the red arrow, release the mouse and a pop-up menu will show up. So we choose copy after, okay, then we move the red arrow to include this operation in our uh, toolpath group. Okay. So, in order to change the things that we mentioned earlier, the tool and the count cycle and the depth, then I'm going to click on parameters. Okay, the first thing we change is the tool. I need a drill that has a diameter a quarter inch. So, we go to the filter. This time, I'm not interested in the spot drill, so none. And then we select the drill of diameter 0.25 quarter inch then click OK this is the tool that we are looking for so we select the tool and then click OK so this is tool number two now as you can see here tool number one is the spot drill half inch spot drill tool number two is the quarter inch drill so tool number two and length offset H2 the tool diameter is 0.25, uh, feed rate 10, then uh, spindle speed, I'll keep it uh, 2000. I just need to change maybe the comment here to drill the four holes using, uh, using maybe a drill of diameter quarter inch. Okay, all good here. Now we go to cut parameters. The count cycle that I want to use for this operation is the chip break, which is actually G73, right? Then linking parameters. Uh, the depth here is to be minus 0.25. That's the thickness of our workpiece. Everything is in absolute. What I'm going to activate tip compensation in order to make sure that the tool will go through all then I'm going to activate a tip compensation of 0.1 okay then coolant is on that's all we need to do once we click OK the uh, drill operation is now marked with red X which indicates that this operation is dirty operation because we have changed few things. So in order to regenerate this operation and get, get it clean, then we go to regenerate all dirty operations tab and click on it. Now it's, it's clear. Now I'm going to select all operations and as I mentioned in clip 3, it's good habit that we verify Okay, we verify our operation always to make sure that we are on the right track. So we click on verify selected operation. Now, as you can see, let us uh, switch to isometric view so that we can see better. Okay, and as you can see now, the yellow area here indicates the spot drill operation and this color indicates the new operation which is the drilling operation so I'm going to play spot a drill operation and the simulator will stop because I chose the stop condition to be 
operation change. We stop at each operation change. So since we are going to change the operation to drilling operation, now the simulator is waiting for us to press play in order to proceed. So we play. This is the packet drill operation or chip break operation G73. Okay, and as you can see, we have got very nice chamfer of the upper edges of our holes. Okay, now in order to make sure that the holes uh, go through all, I can press and hold the shift key and the middle wheel and rotate my workpiece. And as you can see, that the holes actually go through all. Also, what we can do. Uh, I can split my screen into two views. So one is for isometric view, the other one is for front view. When we play the two operations, okay, I can easily control and make sure that the two, you see the two uh, is actually going through all the techniques because we activated the tip compensation. That's uh, completed this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Thank you.